um, yesterday. The most extraordinary uh, voice recording uh, has been in circulation actually for a couple of days of a teacher at Rye College in a secondary school in East Sussex scolding pupils for refusing to accept that one of their classmates could identify as a cat. Let's have a little listen uh, to that exchange that was recorded in the classroom. Gender is not linked to do with the, not linked to the past that you were born with. Gender is about how you identify, which is what I said right from the very beginning of no, the lesson. I just don't agree with that. Yeah. So why should I have to listen biological, to that? Biological sex, there is actually three biological sex. Because you can be born intersex. You can be born with male and female body parts or hormones. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, there's three. There's not three numbers. Doesn't mean... Yeah, there's three. I'm talking about biological sex. In terms of gender, there are lots of genders. I've got to be honest here, if a teacher was telling my child that, um, I, I want them out of their job. I don't think these people should have any business in our classroom. I'm not sure they should have any business on our streets either. Um, I'm all for free speech, but 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 free speech based on fact when you're telling children things. Let's talk to Stephanie Davies, R.I. She's founder and director of Transgender Trend, an organisation set up to help parents of children who believe that they are trans. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, I have to say, you know, you see this stuff on Twitter, you think people are making it up. Kids identifying as cats, as horses, as moons, as goodness knows what. Number 10, Downing Street spokesman getting involved yesterday saying uh, teachers should not be encouraging this. Reports, I mean, I kid you not, in front of the paper today, about, about teachers taking a child that identifies as a horse out for a canter, which would be funny if it wasn't so terrifying that this is happening in our schools. Um, first of all, let's talk about this teacher. Absolutely extraordinary, this girl standing up wonderfully to a teacher with a, you know, basically pounding her ideology, her activist ideology into this child. Child standing up, the child was told by the teacher, another bit of the clip, um, you should go to a different school, you're a bigot. Mm. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? And this is why children can't speak out. It's the same as for, for adults. You know, you're called a bigot, you're called transphobe, despicable, the girl, the girl was called, yep. for understanding biological facts. And understanding reality and the teacher as you say was was enforcing an ideology uh, but when schools are have been you know teachers have been trained for so long now that if a girl says she's a boy then they must um affirm her as a boy so already you're saying that subjective identity is is um more important and more of, of a reality than objective material reality itself. biological fact and ask this girl saying she ha these girls were talking you have to you have to accept and treat her if this girl says she's a cat you have to treat her as a cat now you might you know you might say i don't want you to bully her do we know i'm sorry if you think you're a cat you've got a mental health issue or you're just playing and taking the mitt, which is what I hope this kid is doing. I fear lack or not, not though. Um, but you shouldn't require everyone else. Like, again, if someone wants to self-identify as a woman and they're born a man, that's fine. Live your life as you want, but don't expect me to go along with it. That is, that yeah. is unacceptable. You know, this is the logical conclusion of identity politics, yeah. that your identity is all. Children are really being taught in schools that their feelings are the reality yeah. and objective reality is not. Um, the problem here is, uh, I mean, it, yeah, it looks like a joke, but it's not. And, this, and the yeah. government really needs, in their trans schools guidance, to get a handle on this. And I was saying that the government is saying that if a parent agrees, then a child can be socially transitioned in schools. And it entirely misses the point yeah. that a teacher should not be telling a girl that she's a boy. No, because exactly. But also, again, this idea that you should affirm, I mean, there's no evidence that this is the kindest and best way of doing things. But also, again, teaching children, you know, not reality um, is not a good thing. And this, and, and I think it's it's really not a good thing for us. What we know is a socially contagious issue, which is, yeah, which is trans children. You know, one, one girl and says she's a boy in a school, suddenly you get another six. If no one does, you don't get any. Oh, is it that they don't want to speak out? No, it's just that it's about, for a lot of children, it's children who are, you know, they are perhaps they feel a bit different, a bit strange, they are happy mm. with their bodies many children have mental health issues or, or disabilities or they've been abused there are so many other things going on that we really should be looking into when parents and teachers basically you know just play along yeah. with this they are doing mm. children a disservice you, you know Hillary, dr hillary cass called it diagnostic overshadowing at the tavistock that's what went wrong at the tavistock yeah. because mental, underlying mental health issues were missed or ignored it's the same the process starts in schools the child yeah. who has perhaps even suffered sexual abuse, yep. 
the girl who then identifies And then we're all the playing along with the, the Yeah, being we're a going... cat. Exactly. Steph and Jamie's all right. Thank you very much. I wish we'd had longer. I do apologise. Very quick word from Benedict Spence. Final word on the this. The staggering thing from that clip, you can hear in their voices, the child is more intelligent than the teacher. The teacher oh, is just it. repeating what she has learnt by rote and the child is thinking on her feet. How depressing must that yeah. be for the child to know Again, that's your teacher? Yeah, and which is worse, the, the, the parent, the, sorry, the teacher believing it or just lying? That, yeah. I don't know which is worse.